Martin from former Bray boss Gary Cronin. We never even touched on that, Tony. So many uh, subplots to this game this evening as that ball's played up towards McMenemy. And McMenemy does really well to take it down and he gets it out wide now for Craven. Craven with the first time cross. It's into towards Sam Verdon. And Verdon had a free header on the edge of the six-yard box, but he glances that header wide. It's a huge let -off. Half dealt with by Barker, but... He's given the ball away and Bray are on the attack. It's an end-to-end -end start of the game. It's in towards Manley and it just evaded Rob Manley. It'll be kept in play here by Zach O'Neill. O'Neill backed up and uh, that clearance is from McMenemy but another corner to Bray Wonders. their second of the game. End-to-end -end start, Tony. Verdon may have used his hand there. Referee says play on. It's a good ball out wide by Verdon. Here's Barker. He's taking his time with it. Shot is blocked. It'll run through to the back post where Graydon's waiting. Graydon squares it. Chance for Craven. Chance for Verdon. And it's a goal for Longford Town. Their first goal of the season. It was a little bit scrappy, but the town... Shows a nice little turn of foot to skip away there from Manley. He's going to have to run his socks off here. He's looking a bit isolated already. Good ball into the channel towards Verdon. Good touch from Verdon. Lays it off. Here's Craven. Low drill from Craven. That's just wide of the left-hand post. Another good attacking move by Longford Town there. A number 10 or a midfielder during most of his senior career. He probably knows how to play a bit of a, a false nine as well. So he's uh, bringing all those attributes to the table early on here. And Brave totally switched off from the throw. And that's really poor defending from them. And that was a, a cheeky effort from Robinson. But he was afforded far too much. And again, Bray get away with it. Cheap. They haven't got away with it this time though. And here comes McMenemy. He's flicked it around Hugh Douglas. He carries it into the area. McMenemy sizes him up. Shot on goal from McMenemy. Flashes it wide. And that's yet another shot on goal. What a start to the game from Longford Town. Again, sloppy play. Against Cork. Didn't play in the last couple of games. He's in tonight. Here comes Graydon. McGinnis might have work to do again. And that was a, a poor offload. But Longford win it back through Craven. Here's Graydon. Cross off the left. And that has hit the top of the crossbar. I was just pausing for a moment there because I had a feeling that might flow over the head of McGuinness and uh, he'll be as Bray flood bodies forward here Clifford towards the edge of the box flicked on by Douglas here's Rob Manley it's fallen oh it's a good save very I didn't good see. save by Luke Dennison there that yeah was I think equalizer. it was a Curtis burn no it wasn't it was um, to receive the ball on the spin and he's going to try and punish Bray but doesn't get enough purchase on that one Dean Zambert using all of his experience just to clear it away and that's a good ball into the path of Manley if he gets his touch right he's in business good first touch decent second touch good save from Luke Dennison poor clearance and that is a cheap goal to concede it's Mick McDonald with the mistake and it's turned into the back of the Longford Town net here's Lynch Graydon Graydon's going to have a run at Zambri feels like he's got his number and he's beaten him this time and he's got by Douglas as well. Graydon crosses, cleared away. Robinson helps it back in. And McGuinness opts to punch that one away. Kevin Knight will clear. But again, on the rest of the game. Yeah, of course, he's a vastly experienced player himself, Mick McDonald. So I'm sure he will put it to the back of his mind. It's up towards Douglas. Douglas got his head on it. Bit of a breakdown in communication. And there's a shot on goal. And uh, that was Labute is fresh off the bench with the volley from the... Edge of the penalty area, maybe just inside it, but he, he skies it in the end. But could lose O'Neill. O'Neill's pass is wayward, intercepted by Longford. Here comes Graydon. Graydon cuts inside, checks back. Ben Lynch has made a move forward from the left back position. It'll go out right instead, though, towards Malloy. Malloy with an early cross towards Craven. And I'm not sure how Craven hasn't scored. He was under pressure. Douglas threw his head at it. And maybe Robinson does well to win it back for Longford. Here's Lynch. Lynch should have gone inside there, just a little bit hesitant, the young man. Eric Malloy had made a good run. There's the ball over the top. Verdon, he's broken the offside trap. What a touch from Verdon! Brilliant first touch from Verdon. He couldn't apply the finish. No, super ball. It's going to be chipped over the goalkeeper. He's or tried to drill to it low. go for the opposite side of the goal. Yeah, look, it's easy Great to chance. say from sitting up here, but here That's come Bray now. And it's going to fall here. That's a brilliant save again from Luke Dennison, but Longford again fails to clear their lines and they've been punished. Bray Wanderers 2, Longford Town 1. And for the second time in the game, Town failed to deal with... Mick McDonald almost caught out, although it wasn't um, McDonald's fault that the throw in towards him didn't have enough pace on it. He did well just to get enough on it. And that ball bobbled up and Barnett's ball is given away. Rob Manley looked offside, but he's in on goal. And I think Dennison has just got his toe on that one. He's onside. He's going to have a run. 
Lovely little shimmy. Great skill from Graydon. He's into the area. He cuts it back. Here's Verdon with the shot deflection on it. But it's into the grateful hands of McGuinness. Superb, outstanding play from Ryan Graydon. Then a lovely little back heel as well. It's great to space and focus. Can he make a count? Not this time. That cross is blocked down. Hit the back of Paul Fox. Long for come again. Another wave. This is Robinson. Great ball inside to Craven. Craven round the corner. It falls to Verdon. Chance. Brilliant save from McGuinness. It's back with Verdon again. Get it in the mixer. No corners in the first half, two in the second half. Going to be Menemy to take this one for Longford Town. Gives the signal. Plenty of movement in there. No, it's off the training ground again, a low one. And it's Craven who leant back as he hit that and he's uh, skied out over the net. Behind. He gives the ball away, but McDonald backs up the play well. Here's Barker. Barker's cross again blocked by Kevin Knight. He's blocked some amount of crosses in, uh, into the area tonight, Knight. Malloy trying to get in on that left foot. Lays it off to Robinson. Robinson with a shot on goal. It's a great save from McGuinness. The rebound almost fell the way of Verdon. But Hugh Douglas, right place, right time to clear it away for a corner. Yeah, free kick, get a corner. That Luke Dennison might have to come up for it. As the early cross is played in towards Verdon. Longford players almost got in each other's way. And Craven looked like he was having his shirt pulled, but he's uh, stayed on his feet, very honestly. Shot on goal. Did it take a deflection? Town players appealing for it, but uh, referee Alan Patrick. The looks of things, unless we can... See a late goal in the next 60 seconds or so. Long ball up. Town players need to gamble on this. And here's Callum Warfield with a chance. He didn't get. He couldn't get the shot away. Couldn't sort out his feet. Craven lays it off. Robinson with a shot on goal. Robinson leans back off the left foot. It's floated out, and that might be all. She